Soap time! Woo woo woo! Hello everyone and welcome to back to another session of Soaping with Nathan! <laughs> We're feeling so much better today. We are going to be doing a remake today. We are remaking something that sold out like so many times. We are doing Mahogany Teakwood. One of your favorites. It is guys love it, girls love it, everybody loves it, but Let's get started with the colors, shall we? So, we've got this awesome blue here. This is uh, Dark Navy from Nurture Soap. I am not mixing it this time. It's gonna look almost black, but I want that. Okay, and then <laughs> mixing it, we are mixing it with this uh, sea green color. So, we've got this navy. I don't know if we can get a better color color in there. Uh, sea green. And then the Beyonce the Reigns Domes is... Uh, this uh, I've been obsessed with recently. This is uh, Copper Penny from Nurture Soap. Lovely. And then to add a little bit of contrast, we got some white. So we're gonna do a up and down, up and down hanger swirl today. Boom, 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 boom. Um, and we're gonna make like trying a consistent pattern maybe, not just random. Um, so we're just gonna go up a few times. You'll see when we get to it, right? Okay, um, like I said, I'm feeling so much better today, thanks for asking. Um, and we've got our hat back on backwards today because we're living lucky this night. <laughs> this is the Black Clover brand, um, which uh, they have cute hats, right? But uh, we're going backwards today because I'm feeling a little spicy. Uh, we're feeling better and let's get started. Yeah, let's do it. Let's go, guys. All right. Ooh, you can see a better look at the colors right here. Maybe I should just do it from down here. It's like blue and sea green and um, gobber penny. Yes, please. This might also go on the top. And then we've got our winter white. Because I don't use titanium dioxide because it can suck it. Um, and then we have our delicious oil mixture right here offside the camera. Which I'm going to slowly push over here while my stick blender stays in the way. <laughs> I did it! Um, okay. <laughs> there you go. Um, wow, Nathan, look at how creamy. <laughs> yeah, it's creamy because it's got plenty of coconut milk in it. So this is uh, this fragrance, which I absolutely adore, um, behaves super well. So we are making all sorts of delicious soap with it today. And what I like about well-behaving fragrances is that uh, I can use coconut milk and all sorts of additives and be okay. And we also have a massive water discount. Well, I don't know about massive, but for most people it is. We've got our lye water right here, which is full of mm, lye lint, but we're gonna take care of that. All right, all right, okay. So uh, this is 36% lye solution when combined with the coconut. So when you're thinking about it, Using soap, cal calculate 36%. Um, and uh, then if it's like you need 650 grams of water, then subtract out however much coconut milk you're gonna add. But this is a split method. So um, you always wanna make sure that your water is at least 50% water and 50% lye, and then you can add your coconut milk uh, or your other additives on top of that. Unless you're doing a full replacement which I cannot be bothered to do because I don't want to deal with that whole mm, freezing uh, stuff. No thanks. Hard pass. That's not for me, guys. Huh? Okay. So we've got Tessa Silk in here and we've got sodium lactate. So we're going to add our, uh, here we go, boys and goyles. So I'm just straining this because I want to keep all the little bits out. Uh, my, <laughs> I hadn't disturbed this for a couple hours earlier today, and when I came downstairs and, like, started stirring it, it had, like, a hard crust on top. Yay! <laughs> all right. Poor, poor, poor. Trying to avoid all the air bubbles, because you all know how I feel about air bubbles. And, um, you know... I'm really excited about this soap today. I'm not sure what we're gonna do on the top, but it might just be white. 
I'm thinking I might just go white on the top and then with some gold on top and then you won't even know what color it is going to be inside. It would be like a magical secret. We're gonna layer it um, with dark on the bottom and then um, we're gonna do uh, the basically in order. This is the order of the soap. And then maybe some gold on top. Maybe some of the other colors on top would look cute too. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, to stir in this guy up. Because we're layering, I don't really care if the batter is a little bit thicker today as well, because it actually makes it easier for when you're doing your up and downs. So, all right, here we go. It's gotten to the point now that I, people ask me, what is your temperatures? It's gotten to the point now, I've done this enough times. 80 to 90 degrees, hopefully. About. <laughs> We're getting to that sort of separation phase. It's gonna turn silky here in a bit. I always call it my chunky phase. I think it's better to be calling it my silky phase. Or <laughs> not my silky phase, my separation phase. Cause that's really what it is. It's really separation. Things aren't coming together yet. So it gets a little thick here, a little chunky. Oh, by the way, guys, if I always forget to do this, if you like this video, please like, subscribe, share it. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. I'm gonna stick blend this a little bit more than I normally have because well, I probably don't need to, but this, because this fragrance is known for, oh yeah, I can really feel it thinning out. This fragrance is a well behavior and we don't mind if it's a little bit thicker today. We've already, <laughs> we don't mind if it's a thick, thick, <laughs> I'm not gonna finish that sentence. Um, <laughs> all right, just gonna give it a little bit extra stick blending. Mm, we might pay for it later, but that's okay. We wanna make sure that this is fully incorporated. After that last debacle, uh, the soap turned out. It turned out fine. Um, but uh, I didn't like the amount of soda ash that I got on my Firefly bars because the batter was so thin. Yeah, I'm gonna pass on that. So we're just, we're giving a little bit of extra blend just just uh, to be safe. And we're, we want to look at how silky this is, yes. Okay, so I'm adding my fragrance here. Delicious. Mahogany teak wood. So if you wanna know what this smells like, go to Bath and Body Works and give it a scent because this, I was like, most of, I, I, I've never actually smelled a mahogany teak wood candle or anything from Bath and Body Works. And I was like, what does that smell like? And I smelled it, I was like, oh, this is like spot on. So. This fragrance is uh, basically, I would say, uh, a very close dupe um, to Bath and Body Works uh, Mahogany Teakwood. And it might actually be like a dupe because the place where I get this fragrance from, um, they do that sort of molecular dupe, that, or so they say. Um, okay, so fragrance is fully mixed in. Yes, 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 smelling gorgeous, smelling masculine, smelling delicious. And I used to not like this fragrance, but it's growing on me quite a bit. Cause it just, it's it's kind of a fresh scent. All right, let's pour this guy in and get our batters going for our colors. So I, I like to use these shite, <laughs> this shite. I like to use this containing. They're easy to manage. 
and they're just convenient, and I am all about convenience in my soaping. If you haven't noticed, I do not like to do embeds. It doesn't make me happy. I don't like to do piping. Again, that doesn't make me happy. I just want gorgeous, beautiful swirls all the dang time. Okay, so gorgeous, beautiful swirls is where we're at, and that's okay. I've accepted that about myself. I'm a swirly guy. <laughs> hey, I just like swirls, okay? Okay, so we're gonna add our blue in. This is uh, this is the dark navy from Nurture Soap. It turn in colors, it looks black, but it really is a dark blue. So I'm gonna try and get most of this baby out of here. And I'm using about two teaspoons per pound of soap. So actually, this is about 700 grams. So this is two teaspoons. So it's mm, it's not quite two. But uh, look at it, it's a gorgeous color. Batter's feeling nice and thin because this fragrance is what? Amazing. We might have a little bit, of, whew, I'm almost like thinking I should change my de design because if it's gonna stay super thin like this, then we've got options. But I would have to go find a cup real quick and uh, kind of the design I wanted to make the other day. Oops. So I haven't used a sea green in a long time. And I'll have to say, I did a uh, sea green soap uh, earlier in the year that I was just kind of obsessed with. I can't remember exactly what it was called, but it was sea green and black and white. And it reminded me, oh, Stormy Seas, yes. That was a very cool soap. I loved that soap. Um, the swirls turned out amazing. Yeah, this is so thin, guys. Loving it. Mm. But uh, hopefully not as thin as the other one uh, that we were using, the um, Temptation from Nurture Soap, because that, that's what caused the issues with the trace being a little questionable. But uh, we've got coconut milk in this one. So we should have a, a better time with this anyways. So, um, <laughs> well, because I'm sitting here gabbing, I forgot to save some of the other color for the top. So uh, we're just gonna be using this, we're just doing gold on the top, I suppose. Or actually this is called Copper Penny. Copper Penny. Makes this gorgeous, uh, almost like, um, an orangish brown, but look at these color combination. I love this. And I'm gonna make sure I scrape the sides because whenever I do it this way, uh, mixing up my color, sometimes I forget to scrape the sides and it doesn't work out. Um, I get sometimes a little bit of color stuck in there. Okay. So, <laughs> as um, the side of my container drips horribly. I'm just gonna clean that up and I'm gonna try to scrape this out because I don't want this beige colored soap to be in my pour. I want it to be um, more of a white color. So I'm gonna add winter white here and like I said, I don't like using titanium dioxide. I really, really don't. Uh, so we're not. We're using winter white because it can. I can mix it up just like when I do my uh, other micas, and then I don't have to deal with trying to make sure that I've added my titanium dioxide when the stars aligned and um, perfectly blended, and I have the same amount of water in all my recipe because a lot of the titanium dioxides are um, water-based. And so if you get an oil-based one, um, I don't also don't have like a pulse blender to make like a super, super thin uh, batter. Uh, not batter, super like, if you put your titanium dioxide in like a ninja blender or not a ninja blender or a magic bullet or something, and you like pulse it really well, um, 
that works really well for getting uh, an oil-based titanium dioxide to work well. But I don't have those, so I don't deal with it. <laughs> and this is convenient for me, and I've, the winter white has never failed me, so we're sticking with winter white. Okay, let's get started on our pour. Our batter is still nice and thin. So I was going to start with the blue on the bottom, and then I was going to kind of work my way up. The batter is thin, but it's starting to catch on the top, which is what we want. And I'm probably going to do a terrible job layering this, because I'm not very good, uh, I'm not very ambidextrous sometimes. Okay, this is starting to make little uh, catches on the top. So this is just about right. So I'm going to pour this guy in over my spatula to try and eliminate as many um, bubbles as possible, because we all know I don't like bubbles in my soap. And I'm not going to save any of this. Probably should have. Oh well. And I'm just gonna give this a quick go through here to make sure that look at it's like the color wants to sit on top. Okay, it's fine. Okay. This doesn't have to be a perfect uh, layer. I'm just going to try and pour the layer on here uh, and try to create this sort of... We're just trying to get it mostly on top. And I'm doing this because I'm trying to break the fall of a lot of this soap. Because if I do, it's just going to fall right into the soap, and it's going to kind of create drop swirls, and I don't want drop swirls in this case. Am I going to be able to cover this entire top here? As I run out <laughs> of this color pattern. We're getting close. We're gonna get close to getting all of it. Maybe I'll do a little touch up here. Uh, move a little bit of this. Probably is just gonna mix up the colors, but I'm gonna try and get some of this covered up most of the way. I'm actually gonna go ahead and scrape the side here down. because I don't want this design, this to be on the side of my bars. It doesn't really matter. Okay, it doesn't really matter. So our trace now you can see is sort of a city on the top. And this is actually sitting on top of the soap a lot better than the previous one did. So I think we're on the right track. You're on the right track. I can't remember what movie that's from, and I didn't do a great job, uh, but uh, that came to mind. <laughs> it might be like Hercules or something. I think it's a Disney movie. All right, 
well, because we're mostly there, I can just go ahead and cover up the rest of the stuff here. I hope this looks cool and not dumb. Let's scrape up some of this stuff here because we're going to pour our white here in a second. Should probably give it a tap down. Okay. And now our white is looking a lot thicker. Now if I can see if I can do this one-handed. Ooh, I did way better this time. Practice makes perfect. And I can probably basically pour the rest of this in now. All right. I know I'm covering the camera right now. I'm just trying to get a better hold on this guy. Covering that Camry. This whole time we tried to eliminate bubbles and have no bubbles. So hopefully we get the nuns in the bubbles. That's probably good. Give this a little boop boop. Give that a little shake. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to resist. I think I might need to put top stuff on top of the top of this. So it's begging for some color. So I think that's where we're gonna end up. All right, so the, the plan here is to just go down and then kind of go up consistently to the top, then go down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. And I've been finding out that it's better sometimes to do multiples, but I'm just gonna leave it alone. We're only doing it once. Great. I was thinking I should do it twice. We're only gonna do it once. We just went up and down a few times. Great. Delicious. Now let's go ahead and add some of this color to the top. Um, how do you want to do this? Let's leave the white on one side and we'll do this gradation again. I like to do this, but I don't really have a lot of blue. So I think we're going to have some white on the top actually. In between. Need to plan a little better, Nathan. I might need to scoop it out. But yeah, because there's hardly any blue here. It's screaming for a little color. That's it for the blue. 
see what we got with some of this green. We got a little bit extra green, but I did pour these containers basically completely out. I just love this sea green color. It's such a nice color. I definitely have more of the gold. I should have poured more of the gold. Or uh, not the gold, the copper penny. Yes, 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 get all the way over there. Yep, 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 yep. yep. Okay, we're gonna pour some of this gold now. Try and make them about This has been a long pour. I'm just looking now. We've been at like 20 minutes. This is going to be a long video. Longer than 20 minutes. Most of you will just fast forward. But for all of you that are listening here, I thank you. You're following my journey. Great. Perfect. So I'm gonna do what I did on the last one, the last time I made this mahogany teak wood. I'm going to go across with my usual, uh, you know, creating thin lines along the top, and then we're gonna turn it sideways and do that. So here we go. Like I said in previous videos, I like doing this because I really like the way that it evens out the batter on the top. It basically creates like a clean palette to work on. And because we've got white underneath this, I don't need to worry so much about pushing in hard. Um, so I'm still keeping it to the top, but I don't have as much to worry about, you know? Oops, I kind of started going too far. Trying to make the design as consistent as possible. We're almost there. She's looking pretty cute. And now the fun part. We're gonna turn it. We're gonna add our gold, our copper on top now, and we're gonna create a fun swirl here. A little bit there. A little bit there. So I've got these lines on my mold set up and they tell me where sort of the bar cut is gonna be. And I wanted this, this bronze to be a little bit thicker or copper to be a little bit thicker. So this is uh, a pretty hefty uh, mix of, it's more, it's actually more mica than it is olive oil because that's how I disperse it because it creates better uh, effect in my opinion. Okay, here we go. And we sort of use a mantra swirl on this. I didn't know that's what it was called until someone, uh, they did the soap challenge club this last time. And I was like, what is that called? Oh, it's called a mantra swirl. Gorgeous. Yeah. 
Mahogany teak wood shouldn't look this good, huh? And then we just have the last one. And gorgeous. <laughs> and there you go, folks. That's it. Boop, boop, boop. If I'd done a better job of straightening this out, we could have, uh, it's always so hard to tell on the camera. It's like, oh, I guess that's straight. Okay. Well, that's a long video. That's 30 minutes. Thank you so much for watching. Um, again, if you can, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. I would very much appreciate it. And then if you've got any other ideas you'd like to see uh, for scents or colors or whatever, leave them in the comments. And I will talk to you guys later. Have a good one. Bye. -a.